I want to talk about marriage equality. I want to talk about fairness. I want to talk about government and the Constitution. And I want to talk about human dignity and fairness. First, let me address the Constitution. The Supreme Court is charged with ensuring the people the promise of equal justice under the law and also functions as guardian and interpreter of the Constitution. The Constitution permits a balance between society's need for order and the individual's right for freedom. Using words more eloquent than mine, James Madison wrote that constitutional interpretation must be left to the reasoned judgment of independent judges rather than to the tumult and conflict of the political process. If every constitutional question were to be decided by public political bargaining, the Constitution would be reduced to a battery, to a battleground of competing factions, political passion, and partisan spirit. Our founding fathers had wisely worded this document in rather general terms, leaving it open to future elaborations to meet changing conditions. Again, citing words more eloquent than mine, Henry Ward Beecher said, laws and institutions are constantly tending to gravitate, like clocks. They must be occasionally cleansed, wound up, and set to true time. And Supreme Court Justice William Brennan said, law cannot stand aside from the social changes around it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the threshold of social change. To paraphrase a fellow legislator from Latin, Massachusetts, why are we here today? Why are so many people working so hard to write language into our precious state constitution that would deprive some of our citizens their rights? I don't understand why Iowans would think that discrimination against certain groups of people is a fair and just action to take. There has never been a movement for equality that has not met with profound resistance. When black people fought for their rights, there are many white people who resisted those changes. When women fought for their rights, there were many men who resisted those changes. When workers fought for their rights, there were many employers who fought those changes. And now, when homosexual people are fighting for their rights, there are many heterosexual people who are fighting back. The Supreme Court of Iowa ruled on this issue of equal rights in the Barnes case. They have made me proud, and I bought their decision. Like their predecessors, they defended the historic tradition of Iowa to defend the rights of all people who live here. Amending the Constitution has traditionally been to expand the rights of others, not to take them away. I believe in equal rights. I don't think that state government should tell Iowans whom they should or shouldn't marry. Marriage is about love and commitment. And with that commitment, whether it's made in a religious union or in a civil union, it carries with it joy and it carries responsibility. Iowa recognizes the separation of church and state in performing these rights of marriage. No church is forced to perform a marriage if it is not consistent with their religious doctrines. I have been married twice. The first time was in a church before a priest and a minister officiating. Ten years ago, I was married again. And we discussed whether or not to go down the road to marriage or not. We chose marriage. However, the church had rules that did not allow us to get married there. So we were married by a friend who was a chaplain. 
It was a civil service. I consider myself just as married in that civil service as I did at our religious service at my first marriage. And I believe after the 2009 decision that my friend who was able to marry us was able to marry her partner and enjoy the same rights that she had officiated at for me. I respect the responsibilities that come with marriage, and I am forever grateful to have found that special person whom I love and with whom I want to share my life. I wish this for all Iowans, today and future Iowans. This is a matter of human dignity and fairness. I land on the side of fairness. I support marriage equality, and I urge all of you 